In this tutorial, we'll show you how to panelize a PCB and have it ready for manufacturing. First, you'll want to import your Gerber drill and other data that's used for your printed circuit board. Let's go ahead now and add the outside route. FAT3000 detects the border automatically. You can use the defaults. Select the corner where you'd like the route to begin. And as you see, the route path has already been generated. Let's go ahead and add tabs, which will hold your printed circuit board inside the panel. Tabs will be automatically centered for best alignment and placement if you choose symmetrical. Okay, so let's create a panel now. And what you do with panel setup is, as you'll notice here, pull downs and settings you can use. In this case, you can also add fiducials, tooling holes, and even venting patterns. And these are all, they all come default with the FAT3000 software itself. Once you've created your panel, let's go ahead and add the printed circuit boards to it. So what we'll do here is we'll add what's called a surplus. Surplus means you just add any type of arbitrary larger number and FAT3000 will do its best to fill the entire panel with as many boards as it can. Verify your options. And as you'll see here, these are the different configurations that, of your printed circuit board design that will fit within the panel. Synchronized layers allows all common type layers to be merged into a single set of Gerber files. To finalize your panel, it also allows you to add the venting patterns, bars, the douches, and all other aspects of your panel. That's it. Congratulations. You're now ready to send this set of Gerber files out for manufacturing. And we'll go ahead and export the Gerber files right now just to show you the entire process. Choose your folder where you'd like your files output. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to increase your panel optimization by 33%. In this example, only six PCBs will fit on a panel. So we'll create a new panel. We will eliminate the horizontal rails just by setting the top and bottom margin to zero. Fiducials, tooling holes, everything else remains the same. As you see now, eight boards fit on a panel instead of six. Use finished panel, which actually will run synchronized layers and finish the panel simultaneously to save you some time. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to panelize multiple different printed circuit boards together to save time and money. First, you wanna import your first set of Gerber files and drills once you've done that, let's go ahead and create the route path and add the tabs. The path has been created. Now let's add the tabs. In this case, I'll have two tabs per side using layer symmetry. By doing this, I simply select one side and the two tabs will be added. Same thing over there and continue. So this board will be firmly in place within my panel. Now we're ready to import this second printed circuit board. Create a new job and select the folder where this board information is. FAT3000 does the rest. Let's create the route path and tabs just as we did before.
Okay, let's create our third job, our third printed circuit board by importing in that set of Gerber files. And I'll be doing the same thing, creating the route path and adding the tabs. However, in this case, I will go ahead and just add a single tab. Again, with symmetry, you do not have to worry. It will automatically be centered by FAB3000 as far as the placement of the tabs. All right, we're ready now to create our panel. Here, you're able to select the panel size that you wish to use. And these are just the pre-defaults. You're able to create your own panel sizes. You do not only have to use these. Here's the save fiducials, tooling holes, and venting patterns. We're going to use the feature called minimum panel. What this does is you select the number of printed circuit boards that you want of each type. And FAT3000 will find the smallest panel possible, which contains all of your boards. We'd also like in this particular case to keep the job spacing somewhat uh, further apart so that there's a decent amount of spacing between jobs. This holds the boards in firmly within the panel. Verify options. And as you see here, there's a whole bunch of different optimizations how you can have your board panelized. Usually the ones at the top are the most efficient. At this point here, I have my entire all boards in there. So we're gonna synchronize the layers, which means merging all similar layer types together so that it, we end up with one set of Gerber files. Now, one cool thing about FAB3000 is it actually is the only cam tool that lets you edit individual jobs while you're in a panel. So what I'm going to do here is this, there's an outline around the board that I forgot to remove. So I'll go ahead and use what we call push and pop, where you push into the actual job insert, and now I can edit it. And what I'm able to do here is eliminate the border. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and pop out of this job and it will not only save the update I've made to this particular instance, it will also save the other jobs that are all similar. So the second printed circuit board right below it now, as you'll see, also has those same updates. This is really nice for adding, uh, if you wish to add fiducials or anything last minute to a panel.